G'day, in tonight's video, I'm gonna run through how to set up the Deity Theos system on the Canon R5C and the Canon C70. This actually took me a while today, or it kind of took me like a bit of last night and today to figure out how to get the best kind of noise ratio on the C70 particularly. I was trying to use the mini XLR ports and uh, anyway, I finally got there and figured it out. So. Hopefully this saves someone out there a lot of time and uh, you can just get cracking a lot faster than I did. And if you feel that you've already got a better way to do this or you've got a, a better option for me, please leave me a comment and let me know because I'd love to just have the best option running in my kit. All right, so the first thing I've done is go into the Theos and turn on the record to the SD card because obviously I'm going to be messing around with the C70s audio so I don't want that to cut in and out so the audio from this will be from the SD unless I kind of say that I moved it over. Now the fastest and quickest way to get going on the C70 is to use the 3.5 to 3.5 cable into the mic input on the C70 which is this one here so it's going to plug that in and then just plug that into either A or B outputs on the Theos. Now you'll need to come into your menu and come down to out type. Now you need to change, so I'm coming out of A, so you need to change that to 1 plus 2. So tick that one, so now that's showing that. So basically what's that, what that is going to do is the outputs from your uh, 1 and 2 packs will go in as a left and right signal into the mic input. But what that's also doing is sending a mic level input. So that you need to come down to level A, because that's the output we're choosing, and then lower that to minus 20 dB. And that'll give you the, the correct, or a, a less hot signal into the C70. Okay, in your C70 menu, you need to scroll across to audio input section tick that and just make sure you've got mic terminal selected. So that's the 3.5 mil jack. Built-in mics are obviously as described and the input terminals are the mini XLR ports. So come across to mic terminal and just make sure your dials are kind of low, otherwise the signal will be way too loud in your headphones. So chuck on a pair of headphones and then you can start to dial in I'll press record from here and you can start to dial in audio from your lapels. Um, so I think I've got number two plugged into me so I'm just going to go up. Um, there we go. And we've got a nice level coming through there so you can adjust to the different volumes of the scenario you're in. So that's by far the quickest way to get going on the C70 via the 3.5 mil mic input. So the scenario that I normally use the 3.5 mic input for is to um, chuck a shotgun mic on, just so I've got a decent onboard uh, kind of backup recording for any Atmos and things like that during a shoot. So I'll just normally pop that up here, have that connected, and that goes into tracks three and four as my kind of backup Atmos. So that leads me to choose my preferred option at the moment of 3.5 to mini XLR left and right. So we plug that into the mini XLR ports. What's different this time is our input in the menu, audio input will change. Now just remember you can only change these input settings when you're not recording. So if you're trying to find that section if you're recording it'll be grayed out like that so you can only do this when you're on standby so just make sure your input selections on input terminals which is the XLR what you then would come and do in your Theos menu is go to output type change oh sorry leave the output type on one and two because you're just sending that out to one cable but change your level up to zero and then you can I, I found on one of my tests I kind of needed to go up a little bit as well so just we'll, we'll go to zero um, we'll come over to our dials 
So Deity definitely suggests you use the line level for this. And so I found I had to be right up quite high in the levels. So like nearing 10 to get a decent level. So that's why I was kind of suggesting coming up and just adding a little bit, oops, sorry, wrong way, adding a little bit. I kind of went to plus six. You just want to make sure you're not getting too much gain sound. So that kind of either the hiss or whatever when you're not talking, um, just to make sure you're not creating any extra noise in your recordings. That gives me the option to have two lapels and then an onboard mic. So I've kind of got three quality inputs into the C70. That's why I prefer to use mini XLR ports. If you want the best unity and the best signal going into a C70, then it's better to have two inputs and outputs rather than one output going into two. But what I'm finding is that the signal is just uncontrollable. So Deity have suggested that maybe my cables buggered. So let's just have a look and just see where we get to. So I'm just gonna undo these. So this time we're gonna plug an output into each mic, uh, in, sorry, a, a cable into each output. And so that'll be sending a signal into to, uh, mic pack one into the left channel, mic pack two into the right channel. To do this correctly, you would normally do your output as the single version. So A is one, B is two, then you come back out and your level, you would leave it zero and zero. On the C70, you wanna make sure you're online still. Uh, and then just obviously make sure that your input terminals are still correct. So what I find is that when I do this, obviously there's no signal coming through to the C70. So there's nothing on the meters for the channels one and two. So if I try and add some level, I'll just go to A, let's just pump up, check, check, check. So plus 10 is the max. So nothing's coming through there. If I turn my dials right up to 10, check, 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 one, two. Again, nothing's coming through to the C70 via the two cables. So that led me to test chucking it on mic level instead. I'm just gonna turn my dials right down before I do this. So move it over to mic. I'll just record on the C70 for this. The dials are completely turned down. So we'll start to add a little bit of level. Test, 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 one, two. Test, 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 one, two. Test, 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 one, two. Check, check, check. So we're on mic level and we're, we're at five and that's Obviously, you can hear the hiss is overwhelmingly uh, too high. So if we were to treat it like a mic level signal, and bring it down to minus 20 like we did the other one. And come over here and bring this one down. Check, check, one, two. We've still got the C70 kind of preamps are far too hot and not, and the mics just aren't coming through. So something's happening between the output cables and the input of the C70, which, yeah, when I contacted Deity, they said, yeah, it's probably your cables. But what I'm interested in is if I change the output I'll, I'll move the levels back up again okay so levels are back at zero if I come out to out type and if I change a to both left and right channels 
and turn it down. I'm actually going to turn the right channel, so channel two completely off. But that same cable, still on mic level, taking both outputs from the deity. So I'll even unplug this. So you've got mic one and then mic two on me. So coming through as a mixed channel, obviously all that distortion, all that hiss or gain noise has gone. And all we did was alter the outputs on the deity Theos to be a mix. Now, if we then treat that as a line out, then we could just bring the mic level right up in the dial and you know, we can hear the audio again. So I have no idea why this is the case. So for me, it doesn't feel like the cable is the problem unless something happens to cables when there's two of them plugged in, I'm not sure, but just to um, have this, just to check the output of the other of the B, I'll go in here, change that to one and two, I'm gonna unplug A and then bring up this fella. So you can almost hear that the B is actually output two feels louder straight away as well, but they're at the same DB. Um, so yeah, I'm interested by that. I ultimately would prefer to use two outs from the Theos in. Uh, apparently that gives you the best unity into the C70, so you're gonna have the best signal. But I don't know if you're planning to use the onboard recordings all the time anyway, then so be it. I've tested it with the XLR inputs into the Zoom F6 and they're fine out of both of those. So it definitely could be these specific cables, but I'm I, until I test other cables, I'm also considering that maybe it's something to do with the C70 as well. So I'm not sure what that all means, but I'll definitely track down some additional cables and test those ones just to make sure it's not my specific cables that are the issue. And we will uh, hopefully find a solution to uh, use the C70 with the AB outputs uh, correctly into the mini XLR ports. Rightio, with the Canon R5C, things are a bit more simple. You simply have the 3.5 jack into the mic port. Nice and simple. I'll just plug my headphones in so I can hear that too. Bring the Theos, chuck it into the A, B. Just change the out type. Again, so if you're coming from the start, press menu, scroll down to find your out type. Select A, change it to one and two. Now, what you'll need to do is bring your level down to minus 20. Otherwise, the signal will be way too hot. So you can clear out most of the noise by going to 120, sorry, going down to minus 20. Alter your levels as needed. So you'd go into channel one, lift that up and down um, as required to get the correct level. So sitting around that minus 10 kind of range. So as you can see, nice and simple, you get a nice clean signal. Alrighty, so I hope those settings help you get started a lot quicker, particularly with your C70. Uh, just a little thing I wanted to run through with the belt clip. Um, I don't really trust it. I definitely feel it's sliding up when I'm kind of moving or bending over uh, in the little testing that I did. Uh, it definitely doesn't hold as tight as other kind of belt clips have on other units in the past. Uh, so like the Zennheiser G3 and 4s, I definitely feel their clips um, hold on a lot tighter. So I would just play it really safe, maybe get yourself a, an Ursa strap um, or something. It definitely fits in there nice and snug. Um, or I did see that Deity have their own little pouches. So 
that kind of gives me an inkling that maybe they don't trust their um, belt clips as much as well. So just play it safe. I'd hate for you to uh, lose your equipment early on and uh, break one of the uh, transmitters. So keep that in mind as you're cruising about on your first few uses and um, hopefully you play it safe and uh, keep your equipment for a long time. Talk to you soon. Cheers.